Good morning, everybody. All right, I wanted to come on and talk about the super full moon, and I know it was last night, um, but let me know, how have you been feeling during this week leading up to it? I know for myself, I felt very tired. <sighs> like I didn't even go to a work party the other night, <laughs> or I just didn't go out on some of the functions because I was just so tired. Um, and yesterday I slept in to like 8.55 a.m., which is very, very rare for me. Even if I don't have to be up early, I do get up early. It's just what happens. Um, so yesterday I had like 12 hours of sleep, which I I don't even know when the last time <laughs> that has happened. So I'd like to know, how have you been feeling with the week leading up to the super full moon? Now, we only have a couple of these every year. This will be the last one before going into summer solstice, going into the summer season. And first, let's just quickly talk about the weather that's going on here. I was up at 5.50 a.m. and I sat outside in the backyard, had a nice cup of tea. It's nice and sunny. I have the dog here, so if you're hearing little sounds, let's see if we can show you him. <laughs> um, yeah, and I sat outside this morning in the garden with a cup of tea and then uh, I came back up and it's interesting I, I guess I went back to sleep but I was listening to something on my phone without realizing it and in my sleeping state I kept having something playing and talking and I was like why can't I stop this playing and I was trying to stop it off this machine where I was at this work trying to stop it off there and then it wasn't stopping and then I'm like, is it on my phone? And I was trying to stop it on my phone because I was like, customers are going to hear all this. And then when I actually woke up, woke up, turns out it was on my phone playing in real life, but it was playing in the sleeping state as well. But in the sleeping state, I was trying to turn it off. Anyways, nonetheless, woke up and now we have this thunderstorm <laughs> and it just kind of rolled in and it, it feels like nighttime. It's crazy. You just saw this dark cloud rolling in with some breezy wind because I was able to see the trees all dancing. It was very interesting. They kind of settled now. It's more the rain. You may be able to hear some thunder. We had some really intense thunder, by the way, like where it's super loud. At one point, I felt the ground move. But here's the thing. Here's the reason why I'm coming on here and talking to you about this is I feel this is such a clearing and such a purging. So when we have full moons, they're all about illuminating what's deep within us that needs healing. And in my sleeping state, when I went back to sleep this morning and in my sleeping state last night and the night before, there were like all these things that I was kind of worrying about, whether it was in my subconscious or consciousness. And so I really think when these things start to play out in our sleeping state, it's a way for it to come up and out. There, there needs to be a release that is happening. And so with this rain and this yeah, this rain, the thunderstorm, to me, it's a symbolism of all the stuff that's been coming up to be released and to be healed. And now we're cleansing and we're clearing, cleansing and clearing. I always look at rain as a cleansing and clearing. It's like when we have a shower, we're washing off all the stuff we picked up throughout the day, energetically, even physically, what have you. It's the same thing when we're raining, when it's raining here. It's cleansing, it's clearing, right? Um, I do find thunder very fascinating though, especially when it's like super loud at times because I'm like, what is it that makes a sound sound like that? But that's a whole other conversation, a whole other video, and I'm sure people have answers to it. I probably wouldn't even understand it anyways if it goes into depths of science and all this stuff, but I do find it quite fascinating. And so my message to you, even though the super full moon was last night, we can feel the effects a good couple of days prior to the full moon and we can feel it to the effects a couple of days after. It's like retrogrades. Retrogrades are a little bit longer though. We have the pre-shadow and we have the post-shadow. So <clears throat> if you're still kind of feeling that way, roll with it. I know a lot of people have felt really tired the past week. I actually have rain sprinkling on me all the way from the window over here. It actually kind of feels rejuvenating. Um, but yeah, do what, listen to your body. Just listen to your body. I mean, I kind of didn't go to a couple of functions last night and the night before. I just was just so tired, I couldn't do it. I mean, I could, I don't wanna say couldn't, but I just had to listen to my body and I just needed to rest and um, yeah. So just know if you're feeling like that, 
it's a-okay a lot of releasing our body also you know when i look at how i slept for 12 hours which wasn't a consistent 12 hours it's very rare i'll have a consistent sleep i wake up a lot throughout the night and through the mornings um because i'm a very light sleeper but it really felt like my body and i'm saying this because i know some of you are going through it too like when we're when we're doing a lot of shifts and changes in our life, and it may not even always necessarily be like physical ones or tangible ones that we see, sometimes we don't even realize how much we're going through because we, we just keep go, 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 go. But when we're shifting and we're changing things out or bringing new things in, it's like the body needs time to integrate. It needs time to, Mm, what's the word I want to use here? I can't think of the word right now, but when we sleep, it's like everything resets. It's like when we, um, what's this? <laughs> I'm forgetting all the words. When we have our laptop and it tells us it needs updating, that's it. When our laptop wants to update or our phone wants to update, <clears throat> it takes time to do that updating, right? it like slows down if you try to use the other apps and do the other things as it's updating. In general, we kind of just let it do its updating and, and let it, you know, let it do its thing. And the same thing for our body, right? Where when we're changing out old belief systems and old softwares and we're inputting new ones, it's this integration time. And so when we sleep, it's like that's when the body, that's when things are still, that's when the body can really do its thing. All, all the little mechanisms can do its thing to, to like fine tune all the integration. Let me know if you can hear the thunder. It was super intense and loud earlier this morning. Like it was like, literally I felt the ground move. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, so know that if you're sleeping a lot or resting a lot, it's probably just the body that's integrating and allow it to do its thing. Definitely drink lots of water. Um, get back into your devotion as much as you can. I know it's hard when we fall off it, you know, getting back into it or getting back into exercise can always be difficult, that little pivot point. But once we do it, then we get back into it and in the, um, in the, uh, groove. Okay. Hello, Leanne. Hi, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I was wondering if Mike was out for a walk this morning because I know he normally goes early in the morning and I <laughs> saw the rain and everything come down. I was like, Ooh, I hope he's not out for a walk right now, but I'm wishing you all the best. This is a uh, full moon is in the sign of Sagittarius. If, you, if there's any Sagittarius here, let me know in the comments below. We still are in uh, Gemini energy as well. Let me know if you're a Gemini. I am a fellow Gemini. And, um, this, this, this full moon, sorry, next new moon that we have coming up June 28th, I am holding a new moon awakening. It's going to be the first one in person for a very long time since the whole C bid thing has happened. I was doing them all online, um, during that time frame, which was good because people were able to attend all over the world, which was really exciting. But I am excited to be doing this in person. It is going to be in Collingwood, Ontario at your wellness. It's going to be in a yurt. Um, there is limited spots for it because there's only so many that we can fit comfortably in the space. So I do suggest registering ahead of time if you want to come. And uh, it'll be at 7 p.m. But I'm super excited about that. If you want to know more details, let me know. And nonetheless, I hope you're having a nice little phase in what we're going through right now making time for the clearing, making time for the new to come in, and I will see you later. Much love.